Hi everybody, welcome to another video on Synth Master 1 from KV331 Audio. So what I would like to do in this video is to talk a little bit more uh, about uh, filters <clears throat> and also effects. So I have the default preset loaded. Okay. <clears throat> Now, if I stay on routing, on routing, you can see here a label which stands uh, for filters, a button. At the moment, it is, it is set to run a series, which means that I have uh, uh, oscillator 1 and 2 going into uh, filter 1, which is active, and filter 2, which is not active, and then to the amplitude um, envelope here, number 1. I can change that configuration to parallel, in this case both oscillator 1 and 2 are mixed up and then I are going separately into filter 1 and amp 1 and then into filter 2 and amp 2 before merging together. Or I can choose to run in split mode. So in this way oscillator 1 goes through filter 1 and amplitude 1 and oscillator 2 goes through filter 2 and amplitude 2 if those were enabled. So this gives you more flexibility in the way you can set your presets in terms of filters. And it would change quite uh, significantly uh, the, the output from a filter perspective. The other things here, you have the ability to enable disable effects. <coughs> okay, so here you have a hub for effects, and we have a number of effects that you can apply, uh, like distortion, reverb, chorus, delay, compressor, and equalizer. Each um, <coughs> effect then needs to be further enabled clicking like so for example on distortion and you have standard effects here like the mixing the dry bass treble boost etc reverb is the classical reverb again you can enable or disable it here you can set the mix the modulation amount the speed size and density and all the different standard parameters you have from a reverb perspective chorus in this case it is active for this preset and um, <clears throat> you can see from the graph there and you can select the feedback and the speed the delay left and right the modulation amount and the phase you have a delay which is um, used again in this pre uh, preset and it is active and also the pong effective is active as always you have classical parameters to set up like mixer the mixing the feedback the pan the width and delay left and right there's also a compressor effect, which again, it is enabled in this case. Here you can set threshold, attack, release, knee, gain, and ratio to just play um, to hear the differences. And finally, you have an equalizer, where you can set very much uh, um, uh, the amplitude of different uh, frequencies. So, uh, bass, low, medium, high, medium, treble. And then you can set uh, uh, the amount for uh, high pass or low pass, and you can see when it is active, you can see change, a uh, change on the graph, like so. Right. <clears throat> Finally, uh, to conclude the, uh, this series on Synth Master One, I would like to talk a little bit about um, really decomposing um, a preset. <clears throat> In this case, uh, let's reload the default preset, which is the ARP Reserve Flow. And what I would like to show you is, at the end of the day, what uh, this preset is composed of. And uh, hopefully you uh, will be able to use this, te this technique to learn about how to create presets. So first of all, when you run it, you can hear there is a sequence running underneath, so that means there is an arpeggiator or sequence enabled. So if you zoom in, you find that the mode is sequencer and there is a pattern here. At the end, it goes up here onto these two notes. So that's the first clue in terms of complexity. It is, uh, <clears throat> you have an arpeggio enabled, so let's click on it and then click again here to disable it. And let's play again. You can hear there is not any more a sequence uh, running, but there are some effects. And in particular, you can hear a delay. So if I go to the effect tab, 
there is a chorus delay compressor and equalizer um, effects running, particularly on the delay you can hear the pong which is selected. You can clearly hear it when you play on a note. So let's um, <clears throat> disable the effect. So <clears throat> this gives you then to look at the different filters and oscillators. So you can see filter 1 is active, filter 2 is not active. So if you remove filter 1, you disable that. That leaves you to look in this area to the oscillator. And you can clearly see there is oscillator 1 active and also oscillator 2 active. Oscillator 2 as a waveform of spectral resonant LP so 2 <coughs> with 2 unison and oscillator 1 as instead a classical sawtooth uh, waveform with uh, 8 unison, some detuning and with applied the note which is um, <coughs> uh, which is pretty standard and also the octave is below is one octave below and the same for oscillator 2 so if I disable oscillator 2 and I leave oscillator 1 this will be the classical uh, so to waveform with 8 unison, some detuning, and with applied. Next, <clears throat> in terms of complexity and trying to decompose in this preset, look at the mod modulation matrix here. And you find some uh, <clears throat> sources already applied for the modulation. For example, you have LFO2, which is impacted wave index on oscillator 2. And you can clearly hear that and see if you go back to oscillator 2 and enable that. Look at what happens on the index when I press a note. So clearly that is um, uh, LFO2, uh, which is here, which has been applied on index, in the waveform index of oscillator 2. Then we have a, <clears throat> a velocity which will impact the filter 1 cutoff. So based on how, how hard you, you hit and what the velocity settings are. Then you have the modulation wheel, which is going to influence the filter one cutoff and also the arp duration. And you can clearly see that as uh, when I click on a note and I move up, you can see uh, the modulation here moving and changing the cutoff and also the duration of the <laughs> If the filter one are enabled, of course. Next, you have a constant, um, which is applying to the chorus effect. Okay, so to maintain that uh, effect on the chorus. There are no other modulation which have been implemented. <clears throat> you can also see that there is a modulation environment which has been increased here. And, um, and as you know, uh, you can have a look. Uh, uh, there is an amplitude envelope 1, which is applied there, and also the modulation uh, envelope 1, which is applied to the cutoff, uh, which is impacted by um, the amount of the dish selected here. So, <clears throat> to reconstruct it, we enable the two oscillator, the filter, um, <clears throat> the effect, and also the ARP, and you go back to what uh, the original preset was. <laughs> So this gives you an, uh, an idea how to decompose complex preset, which is useful when you are learning about sound design. I hope you found this useful and uh, see you at, in another video. Bye.